Hi, I'm Vincent Alexander, and today we're going to learn how to crossbreed a camel and an insurance salesman. Now the process... wait. I think I might have the wrong video. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be about me. Okay, I can roll with that. Um, I'm Vincent Alexander, I already said that, and uh, the main thing you have to know about me is that I draw a lot. Yeah, I really don't have that much control over it. I just, you know, suddenly get an itch and I I just have to draw something. I this happens at school, church services, funerals, I mean anywhere. I if I get an idea, I have to get it down. Sometimes I don't even have an idea. I just need to to be drawing something. Um and you know, if there isn't any paper nearby, I'll I'll use anything. I I really just have to be drawing. So we've established that I draw a lot, but you might be wondering what it is I'm drawing all the time. Well, the answer is cartoon characters. I could show you hundreds of different ones that I've drawn, but since these three are standing right here and I don't want to make this awkward, let me introduce you to Montgomery, Percival, and Fauntleroy. Now I get really attached to my characters. I get really inside their heads and sometimes I almost act like they're real people. Look, you said to me, watermelon. You said nothing about seedless watermelon, all right? Yeah, you're lucky I even bought it. I don't even like watermelon. What? Oh, oh, okay, oh, right, uh, Yeah, I'm just supposed to read your mind and know exactly what you're, hey, don't, don't interrupt me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm the one. Catch. So I said to him, that's not a psychopathically diseased walrus. That's my uncle. <laughs> you know, you have no sense of humor. Well, I don't want to flip the stage. Well, maybe it's not all about you. Did you ever think of that? Look, if I've offended you in any way, then I'm sorry, okay? Wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say I wish for fish, and I get fish right on my dish. Oh, God. Yeah, I got you. I got. Oh, 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 oh. You suck at this, man. <laughs> it gets worse than that, actually. Sometimes I'll even channel the personalities of my characters. So I'll be in the middle of my daily routine, and then suddenly I'll become sneaky, the fox who has a serious anger management problem. Oh, and I should probably mention Claudius, the cute little puppy who actually wants to kill his master and take over the world. Yes, yes, my master plan is coming into place. Soon, the world will be mine! <laughs> yeah, it, it gets very disturbing. Uh, I'm trying to look into it. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it really it strikes out of nowhere, and there, there's nothing I can do about it. The, you know, these characters are... They're haunting me, you know. I, I, I can't get away from them, you know. They just pop out of nowhere. It's crazy.
I think you get the idea. But uh, putting aside all the horror stuff for a second, I think the, the real reason I'm so obsessed with these characters is that I really prefer their world over my own. I mean, in this world, I'm bogged down by all my responsibilities and insecurities and just everything. And in a cartoon world, you're only limited by your imagination. So really, it's all around better. But then again, I live in this world, and I, you know, I really just need to accept that and move on. You know, these characters are not real, uh, they're just in my head, so I just need to accept that and live my life. So, anyway, if you don't mind, I'm late for therapy.